Signal and system basics. So a signal is something that changes according to time, something like something which is uh, music, stock market movements. The most important thing, it conveys information and it changes according to time. Some may not change, but whatever. System is something that processes that signal in this case. Signal. So in this video, I'm going to talk about classification of signals. So first of classification, we have continuous time. And discrete time. Continuous time is something like this. Signal just gives us a reading, blah, 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 blah. Or discrete time, you have more of a sample. They sample the thing and then you keep moving like that. So there's a jump between of time. There's a time step jump or this is all continuous time. For example, this is something like a meter. Just the, the needle just goes up and down, up and down and there's a very smooth transition. Oh, discrete time is more of a stopwatch. There's a specific jump of, of a time period where it records nothing and it just jumps and keep moving on. Next, you have analog and digital. Analog is more of a very free graph, uh, almost similar to the first one. Or the digital, it's a step graph. If on the y-axis, so you say something like this go down, go up, go down it's a specific step on the y-axis itself so the, there's a jump in this case and there's nothing in between because it's all digital recording next we have some periodic and aperiodic For this, a signal is periodic if it repeats itself. If it repeats itself, a signal that doesn't repeat itself is called aperiodic. So let's say, for example, a sine wave. It repeats itself with one period. So it's a periodic signal. Well, a random wave just goes up and down, and if it does not repeat itself anywhere, then it's not a periodic. Not periodic. Moving on, what's next? We have causal and anti-causal. Causality. It's uh, very important in signal system. And also non-causal, yeah. Causal means that the signal only happens after zero. Everything happens after the zero time. Nothing can be happen before the zero. Anti-causal means that everything happens before zero. When time is zero, when time reaches zero, all the signal stops and everything just stops. There's nothing here at all. For and non-causal, uh, they don't give a damn about time. They just do what they like and <laughs> whatever. And yeah, they don't give any time does not touch them. They can't touch time, those kind of stuff. And next we have even and odd signals. Even signals are basically symmetrical on both sides. Let's say there's something here and there's something here. The distance here to here and here to here are equal. The height is equal, the distance here and here are equal as well, that's why I call it even signals. Odd signals, they are a bit odd. Something like this, the best, the best way to describe is something like this. You have to flip them twice, flip it once this way and once this way. For even signal, you can just flip it once and it will work. Any signal can be flipped on the axis, is called even signal. Odd signal, you have to flip it twice. And of course, there are also signals that are not even and not odd, and then that exists as well. That's fine. Next, we have right-handed signal and left-handed signal. 
This is quite simple actually. If the signal is zero on this side, and it just it goes on and whatever, it's called a right handle signal because it, the information is only on the right hand side. If the signal is like this, it happens and then it just stops and dies here and there's nothing here left. This is called a left hand signal. There's nothing on the there's everything happens on the left hand side only. It may pass the zero point, it may not pass the zero point, it may just end everything here, but everything happens on the left hand side and it stops. It's a bit closer to the uh, causal and non-causal, but there's a slight difference because causal depends on the, the origin zero point. While the left and the right hander does not depend on that. And last of all, we have finite length and infinite length. So as the name suggests, it's quite straightforward. A finite length means that it stops so at some point, it goes zero and non stops up, up zero, 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 zero. Infinite length, the signal never stops. Never stops. All night, all day, all night, every night, all night, whatever. And that's all.